Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Godzilla, Kong, the new empire. Done really, really well. Uh, it's doing really, really, really well. Third week, it has now crossed over the 400 million mark, close to 450. It's at $436 million worldwide. So we're going to take a look at this and just discuss some of the box office's overall response, but also go into the likelihood of the MonsterVerse continuing. I've sort of covered some bits and pieces on this. This is a sort of a broader video on all of that and everything to do with Godzilla Kong. So hey, subscribe if you're new here, guys, and turn the bell notifications on. Please do also consider supporting the channel a little bit further with respect to Patreon and also membership. That's a good way to support the channel. Links are down below in the description box. So anyway, let's take a look at uh, a lovely Deadline article because they do such great write-ups. And this is not sarcasm. They do actually do very, very good write-ups uh, with respect to the box office. In fact, this is where most YouTubers will get most of their information from. Uh, even those people that you think get it elsewhere, they do not. This is generally where they will get their info from. So Godzilla Kong, yeah, it has gone past $436 million worldwide. Interestingly enough, Kung Fu Panda has topped over 450, which is bloody insane. But look, it's doing well. Um, and then there's also some other bits and pieces, you know, Detective Conan in uh, Japan, which just goes to show how large uh, anime is in this day and age. But let's take a look, right? So it says this, as it crossed the $1 billion international box office milestone this past weekend, Warner Brothers again owned the frame with Godzilla Kong The New Empire. And that's actually not true. It is Legendary that has owned it in terms of Godzilla X Kong The New Empire. It's a legendary production. They do pay 75% of it and they make it. Warner Brothers distributes it and pays 25% of the overall fee. So it's not a Warner Brothers film. Neither is Dune. Dune is a legendary film. So it is funny and always worthwhile to correct uh, the likes of Deadline. Very unusual that they keep doing this, but it is what it is. But anyway, they say this. It's third session haul. So third week, and it hits $33.7 million from 7 to 1 markets. It has declined quite a lot. I mean, it's a 47% drop, as they note here, from the previous weekend. However, globally... You know, overseas it's done $278.6 million and global to $436.6 million. Now, the reason why this is so successful is because it would have been on the same docket, same accountant sheet as Dune Part 2. Because Dune Part 2, uh, you know, they say here, now has a shot of getting to $700 million worldwide. And so that's the thing, right? Hollywood accounting is, a, is, a, is, a, is an interesting beast. And if you've ever spoken to a director or anyone in the know, pick their brains on this or you would already know this. But what a studio does is it has a balance sheet. And it's not just one film on that balance sheet. It's many films, generally speaking, if they're producing a lot of films. Sometimes, if they're only producing very few films, they will just bundle them together two, three, maybe four at a time. But Legendary, for instance, they don't produce a whole lot of content. They don't have a massive, wide-ranging uh, amount of sort of you know productions to put on this balance sheet so what would be on this balance sheet it is dune part two as well as godzilla kong the new empire uh so this is a success regardless whether godzilla kong the new empire has actually just based on its own raw numbers been a success it's a success when you pair it with the likes of dune part two which this balance sheet would be there's no that's not a stretch that's all but you know, logic in terms of this conclusion. And we know that this is going to be a success anyway because Legendary is already announced by, by well, tangentially announced by way of Apple TV Plus announcing a whole bunch of other shows that the MonsterVerse will continue. So if you didn't know, Apple TV Plus produced for Legendary Entertainment or by Legendary Entertainment the Monarch Legacy of Monsters Season 1. That's been renewed for a second season. It had Kurt Russell, Wyatt Russell in it, a whole bunch of other individuals, but they were the you know the sort of main stars anyway. Uh, they've announced that's going to come back for a second season. You wouldn't be doing that unless it was successful and the legendary MonsterVerse was going to continue. Not only that, they have also announced a whole wide range of spin-offs. So there's a multiple spin-offs of the MonsterVerse franchise universe uh, will get its own respective series. So that's a few more bare minimum of two so this all but confirms the huge success that godzilla kong the new empire has been and we're getting word anyway that adam wingard wanted to make a third film you can come this will confirm that he will come back he's open to it 
Legendary will be open to it because this has been one of the largest opening weekends of a Monsterverse film, if not the largest opening weekend of a Monsterverse film, if I remember correctly. So this has been a huge success for Legendary. Massive success. And they're already talking about a Dune Part 3 Messiah already. That is in the works. It's in development at this stage. So massive success. Quite good for a very small studio such as Legendary. And it's funny... You know, Warner Brothers gets all the props, but my God, they're not the ones which has made this, you know, as successful as it was. It's interesting because Legendary was going to be suing Warner Brothers uh, just two years ago over Warner Brothers releasing Godzilla vs. Kong and Dune Part 1 uh, on HBO Max at the time. Day and date release outside of Legendary's sort of purview. They didn't want them to do that. They thought that it would eat into the box office. And you know what? I think that they've been vindicated on that sort of train train of thought. Uh, but there you go, quick little video on the MonsterVerse. We will just take another look at the rest of it as well, just because it is interesting. Uh, you know, we had, it says this, you know, 2024 may end up uh, down on 2023, coming out of last week's CinemaCon exhibition conference. It's not all doom and gloom, something we heard in a refrain as several titles continue to post solid numbers. There's also plenty of local play in doing great business, notably in Japan, this frame where the 27th movie in the case closed series, Detective Conan, the million dollar pentagram, has opened to a franchise best. Uh, which is interesting. You know, it's interesting that these sort of, I guess not, well, they are smaller movies, in fairness, um, are doing so well, you know. Uh, and and that that's quite a lot of money. I mean, $21.8 million it opened to in Japan alone. And interestingly, the studios tend to own the theatres in Japan. There's none of these sort of non-compete, uh, sort of monopolising clauses which they have in the States. You know, a studio can own theatres, which is why Godzilla Minus One was so successful in terms of its overall profit return. Because Toho does actually own uh, a whole bunch of the theatres in Japan. So, massive success there. Uh, if only Legendary could get around owning some, uh, some theatres, that would be good, eh? But anyway, there's not much else really to go into here. I just thought it would be a really good roundup of Godzilla X Kong, the New Empire's box office. Uh, I do wonder, you know, overall how long this is going to last. Because again, you know, if you're looking at it statistically, um, what, what, what are we at? I mean, it's what, third, third weekend, I think it is, if I remember rightly. So I don't think it's got much legs now moving forwards. So it's probably going to, I think it'll probably die off around the 500 million mark. But that's still pretty great for a MonsterVerse film, I think. And I think Legendary clearly thinks it too. So what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Cheers for your time. Hit that thumbs up button. Take care. Bye now.